Welcome in, everybody. This is Charlie Castro. I want to thank you for being on with us today. This is our third YouTube channel visual podcast. I want to thank you for being in today. If, you've, if you're receiving this uh, podcast via email and you haven't figured out yet how to subscribe, just contact our office. We'll be glad to tell you how, to, how you can subscribe for this. That way you get notifications every week when we post one of these um, on our, onto our YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Charlie Castro. If you don't know me, thanks for being in with us today. My agenda today um, we're going to talk about this week's inventory. We'll be doing that every week. Um, we're going to be talking about some NPM tapes that we had come available this week. We're going to talk about some market projections for 2016. And we'll probably do that through the balance of the year. We'll just try to focus in on a few things each week. And this week, I'm going to keep it very simple, just some things that we see going on in the marketplace that I think does apply for 2016. So we'll talk about that. Um, again, as I said, this is our third webinar. Why are we doing these? You know, we're doing these for a number of reasons, but we like to have our, our content more internet-based now versus blasting stuff out. The days of blasting tapes is a thing of the past, and for lots of reasons that many of you know, for those that don't know, uh, we've, Philip folks and myself, for the last several years have been, had, we've had an, an email marketing campaign, it's been very successful for us. However, as the industry sort of tightens up, sellers get a little bit tired of us putting tapes out there that people then rebrand put their name on it, and then resend them out with their information on there. And so we just have to stop doing it. We just can't allow tapes to go viral anymore. So if you want to see a tape, you have to request it from our office. We're going to give you all those numbers to do that. If you have a pen and paper handy, have that out with you today. There's going to be numbers on the tapes that are new this week. Um, that if you write those down and contact us, we'll know exactly what tape you're talking about, and we can uh, send those to you. We're going to try to do these just once a week. These are going to be 20 to 30 minutes in length at the most. Um, we're going to have some guests. Um, we'll start having guests probably in January. It'd be sort of like the radio show that we used to do. So we'll be having some guests in. Um, and then here's our contact information. Best way to find me is email or text. Um, you can call me as well. You got my both my phone number, uh, my office phone number rather, as well as my cell phone number there. So just give us a call anytime or send us an email. Be glad to help you. So what do we see going on in 2016? We've we've uh, seen some significant changes. Um, this year, and there was one I didn't add, but I'm going to mention it. But the first thing that we're going to continue to see, I believe, is you're going to continue to see prices go up. The market continues to rebound. Prices are continue to rebound with it. Um, I think that's going to be a trend that you'll continue to see. I do think, we do think, that you're going to see interest rates start to sl uh, rise slightly. What, what effect will that have on, on, on the REITs and the hedge funds? Little to no effect, we don't believe whatsoever. You're going to see a, more of an uh, influx of foreign investors into the market. And I could talk about that alone for about 15 minutes, but... Pretty clearly, you're going to see more foreign investors entering the market, particularly from Canada and from Asia. That's what we're seeing now is the Canadian and the Asian investors buying into the real estate market in America, seeing it as the safest place in the world to park their money. Um, you're going to continue to see more inventory out there. There's more inventory than, than there are buyers. Prices will stabilize. Um, this is a buyer's market. If you didn't know that, this is a buyer's market. If you're looking for inventory right now, what I tell folks is, hey, look, if you send me your specific criteria right down to the zip code you're looking for pro, uh, looking for inventory in, um, you give me your criteria, we can typically fill that order. We've got lots of inventory all over the place. And what does that mean for the buyer? It just means you got more to choose from. you got more to choose from. You're going to see more competitive pricing. While the market is going to continue to climb, I do not see a rise in prices in investment property. I think if you're buying in Birmingham or if you're buying in Atlanta or if you're buying in the Ohio or the Illinois market, I just don't see those prices going up a whole lot. I see them being pretty stable. I think the broker protocol is absolutely going to tighten up. I talked about that at the top of the, at the broadcast. Um, I don't think you're going to see in 2016 buyers as willing to um, look at tapes unless they've been fully vetted. It's been something that we have done our best to do with some success and some failure, to be very candid. Um, but vetting buyers and sellers out is going to become critical in 2016 to success. If you're a broker and you're listening to this, you know you, you the days of just sending out tapes and, and not disclosing who the buyer or seller is to the other party, I think that's over. I think those days are over. I think if you're a broker, you have to change your protocol to adapt to a market no different than buyers and sellers have had to change their criteria, their protocol in adapting to a market. It's no different if you're a broker. And the other thing we'll be seeing this year is we will be launching our new podcast on Blog Talk Radio. We'll be starting that probably the end of the first quarter. Lots of reasons why we stopped doing our radio show, but we, we always intended to go to Blog Talk Radio on the Internet to give ourselves a little bit uh, more exposure um, for a variety of reasons. We just haven't done it yet, but we look forward to doing that by the end of the first quarter in 2016. 
Okay, some current inventory. We had a flood of NPN activity this week. Um, we had one tape last week. It was in New York. It was 21 assets. We did sell those this past week. Those are under contract. We will take backups on those, but we did get several other um, NPN tapes. We got actually three in Florida. Um, this was a total of 24. It can be cherry picked. There are 6% in fees. We got most of these three NPN tapes from one source, and it's a company. Um, it's not an individual. And so when you say 6% broker's fees, you go, wow, that's a lot. It is. I totally agree. But these are good tapes, and they're deeply discounted. So you just have to factor in 6% um, into your offering price when you offer on them. But I've got three tapes in Florida. Uh, this is 24. I got one of seven and one of four. Um, and then I've got another new, uh, another. Um, I was going to put it on the screen, but the only, the only uh, spreadsheet I had on this group of notes, they're in New York City. There's 25 of them. It was on a PDF, and I couldn't, tra I couldn't transfer it into a spreadsheet. So it's not on here. But I've got 20, or excuse me, 25 NPNs in New York City as well. So a whole bunch of NPN tapes this week. And if you just reference tape number 301, we know what that is. We understand what that code is internally here. So if you say you're looking for tape 301, be specific if you want New York or Florida. If you want both, we can send you both. But those are extremely well priced, very competitive. These won't last another week. We received this tape just this well. We received it last night. I vetted out the uh, the seller this morning on the phone. And there's 25 in this tape. They're in Atlanta. Um, the seller is really flexible. He's willing to discount it if you buy it in bulk, if you buy the whole thing. He's willing to let you cherry pick. It's got to be a minimum of three, but he'll let you cherry pick it. He's pretty flexible on price. If you come in close on his price, um, he's going to be pretty flexible on this one. He wants to move this. He's got money to deploy into a multifamily project, so he's very motivated to move these. I can tell you that these are about 25% below market value for Atlanta. That's not all bad. So it's a nice list to cherry pick. It's also a nice list if you're looking to buy in bulk, and those are in Atlanta, and that is tape number 302. I received a bunch of stuff. I get stuff in Birmingham all the time. Birmingham's been one of our favorite markets for a while because, as, as some people know, and certainly the hedge fund buyers know or knew, that was a sleeper market. You could get great deals down there on brand new rehab property, high cap rates, solid rental market, one of the better rental markets in the country, actually. And some of our better rehabbers and property managers in the country. It's a small little town, Birmingham, but great place for investment property. We got a whole slew of stuff this week in Birmingham. I probably have over 150 properties now. This, these are just examples, by the way. This particular tape contains 17 properties. You can see the pricing on these. Those are wholesale pricing, flat out wholesale pricing. For those of you that's listening to this, have seen our Birmingham uh, webinars in the past, you know that typically the buy prices were 35 to 50,000, 55,000, somewhere in there. These are way below that. Now, some of these do need rehab. Some of these are, are already rented and cash flowing, and some need to be rehabbed, but they're extremely discounted. That's tape number 303. Ask for that, and we'll send you the whole entire Birmingham loan. That is tape number 304. And by the way, we've got about 100 of these. So this is not just these 10 or 12 you see here. These are just examples, but there, we've got about 100 of these in Detroit. So we got a whole mess of those at about that price. We got a tape of 77 REOs. This is a bank tape. This is First National Bank. You can cherry pick it. I tried to give you an example of the, the states that they're in, but they're all over the country. I mean, they're in Wisconsin, they're in Tennessee, they're in Kentucky, they're all over the country. And so it's only 77 of them, but what they're going to do is they're going to take bids, and they have to be in by December the 23rd, and then what they'll do is they will then award these to, to whomever the winning bid is on Monday the 27th, I believe it is, or 28th, and, that, and then they'll want to close that week. So on this tape, again, you have to recognize that if you win the bid on the, 20, on the, on the 27th, let me think here, Friday's Christmas, 20, on the 28th, yeah, 28th, December the 28th, you would be awarded the, the, the bid. You would then be expected to close by the end of that week, which is you know, obviously New Year's Eve is on a Friday. So, But it's you know, some great great buys in this tape. You can see some of the prices here. I guarantee you can get those for less than that. I don't know what the, exactly they're going to take on the ask price, but these are wholesale cash prices. They want to move them by the end of the year. They're extremely motivated. That is tape number 305. As well, we've got our national tape of REOs. We have this every month. We get a new tape from this group every month at the beginning of the month. This month, it was a huge tape. It was 1,700 REOs that are on this tape. You have to do your own due diligence on this tape. You have to check for liens. You have to check for water liens, tax liens, you know, HOA liens, those sorts of things. 
The nice thing about this tape and what our buyers like about this tape is that a couple things. First of all, if you give me the areas you want to buy in, we can customize a tape. Our system is sophisticated enough to where if you contact our office and you say, I want Michigan and these zip codes, we can actually cut out all the other stuff and just send you the stuff in that particular zip code for you to look at. So it makes it a lot easier to view the tape. These can be done quick claim. These can be done via warranty deed. Uh, these are deliverable. Obviously, they sell some, so some could be gone, obviously. Uh, but it's a great tape to buy off of. You don't have to stick to that asking price, that cash price you see there. I've seen them take as little as 50% of that asking price, depending upon the condition of the property. So don't think you can steal them. But if you go out to a property, let's just use the first one. It's in Thorum, uh, Thorum New Mexico. Um, they're asking $49.9. You get out there. You see it needs some work. It's going to need a roof. It needs you know, plumbing and whatever, you could probably offer 35, 30, 30, 30 to 35,000 that tape and probably get that or on that property and probably get that property. So those cash prices are already discounted, but there's room on all of these. And that's what makes the beauty of this tape is that you can negotiate some really good deals for yourself off that tape. That is tape number 306. We have that tape every month. It comes out new at the beginning of the month. This one says obviously in about two weeks. We had this last week, and I thought, and I said, I will sell this by the end of the week, and we didn't sell it by the end of the week, and I was really surprised. But what I did learn was I got an offer on it, and what I did learn on this tape was what the seller will actually take. If you look here, the, the fair market value is $2,234,000. These are 15 B-quality properties in Chicago. We had a couple offers on I won't mention what the offers were, but we had a couple offers on that were rejected. But in that process, I learned that about one one. Little, little, little above one one will actually get that tape. Now that drops that seventy percent of FMV down to about probably maybe sixty percent of fair market value. That's a really good buy for Chicago B, B quality properties, and those are all Section Eight. So I'll probably be doing an email blast in these probably Sunday night as well. But that's a really good buy. And if you're a flipper looking to buy something, put it under contract, and then flip it, that'd be a good one to flip. You could probably make a few hundred thousand dollars off that. Okay, Jacksonville, Florida. This is off a tape of 12, um, 12, excuse me, this is a tape, off a tape of 29 properties. These are 12 of them. We've got a mess of stuff in Jacksonville right now. I just got another tape in Florida um, that was all REOs. I've got a couple tapes down there. If you're looking for REO stuff in Florida, I got a bunch of it right now. And they're all priced about in that ballpark, right around twenty-five to $35,000. But there's a bunch of that. Just say tape number 308, and we'll know you're talking about Jacksonville, Florida, Again, we have a ton of inventory down there right now, some motivated sellers. The tape that we had of 99 sold. It sold today. It went under contract today at about $18,000. Well, that's not true. About $19,000. I still have this one as well. I have this one left over from last week, but this, this is a unique tape because the seller is willing to do some owner financing. So it's three properties. They're in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, the, the ROI, and this is about 13%. The seller is willing to... For about $140,000 down, no, excuse me, the, the value is $140,000. For 30% down, so about 40 grand down, she'll carry the paperback. 10% interest only loan for five to seven years, and she's flexible. In other words, you can come back with an offer and say, hey, I'll put 20% uh, down, and you carry this much for this long at this. In She'll listen to those offers. She wants to get these offer books as well. So I've, I'm a specialist again this week. But if you're interested in that, those three properties, let us know. We've got everything on these. We've got the we've got the um, the full write ups, all the photographs of all three properties. They're good little rental properties. They were all rehabbed in the last couple of years. Old Farm, which is the f house you see to the far right, that house there is a Section Eight property, renting for eleven hundred dollars a month. So it's a very very nice small little portfolio of rental properties that you can get um, with the with the seller willing to carry some paper, which not everybody's willing to do. We st I mentioned non-performing notes a little while ago. We still have these three as well. Now, I I'm expect an offer on the the um, the NPN tape and the REO tape. I should have an offer on those probably by Monday or Tuesday, but these are still available. Tapes 310, 311, and 312. These are all in Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. Um, this seller is extremely motivated. He had these sold twice in the last three months, and twice the sellers weren't able to perform. So he's, he's motivated to get these off his books as well. Um, any reasonable offer on these is going to be taken and is going to be looked at. This is a great group to deal with. They're very transparent. The offer that we expect to see come in, I saw the paper flow back and forth between buyer and seller, and they really were transparent with regards to you know what type of assets these are, what the values of them are. And again, this, the asking prices on these are extremely reasonable. So if you're looking for notes um, in the Midwest, in the Rust Belt states, 
um, contact us for state tapes number 310, 311, and 312. Now we got three, oh, I got a little typo here. We got three, a number of different new portfolios in this week. I'll go through these just one at a time. Um, we've got 77, a group of 77 in Atlanta, Georgia. We've got 63 in the southern part of Georgia. I've got BPOs on those. These are about 60% of the BPO value on those. Now these are por portfolio buyers. So if you're a portfolio buyer or if you are working with a fund that's a portfolio buyer, this is, the, this is some of the new stuff we have this week. Again, I got a bunch of these destroyed properties that are at about $4,000 door, a little higher quality than the ones you saw before. Jacksonville 99, I should have taken that off. That one under contract this morning, so that is sold. What you don't see there, we have a little typo there. We have 300 properties in Arizona. It's a $52 million tape. So the tape, it's a tape number 313. Um, it's a 52. Now, I don't know if you're working with a large, that's a large buy. A $53 million buy is a large buy. It's a gentleman out of Canada. He bought all these properties when the, when the financial crisis hit back in 2008. He bought absolutely at the right time. He came in, swooped up a bunch of inventory, rehabbed them, set up his own property management team. He's been running them ever since then. Now he's going to cash out. Um, if, again, it's 300 properties. They're in Arizona. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the complete write-up, including a, a summary, an executive summary, a pro forma. I've got rent rolls. I've got everything. But that is a huge buy. It's a $53 million buy on 300 properties that are located down in Arizona. That's our webinar for this week. That's our YouTube channel webinar for this week. It was a short one. I said I would do these inside of 30 minutes. I did this in a little bit less than 20 today. So I want to thank you for being here. Uh, be on the lookout next week for some additional inventory that we worked on acquiring this week. Um, we're excited about some of the things we have coming in. We'll probably be releasing our YouTube channel next week. We'll probably do that probably on Wednesday. Um, give folks a little, little more time to um, bid on some of the stuff that we're going to get in because we're going to be getting new stuff in over the weekend. Um, the other way you can approach this is if you contact us and tell us what you're looking for. Um, I had a call the other day with, with a group um, out of Arizona that has buyers all over the world, international buyers, um, uh, domestic buyers as well. And the thing I stressed more than anything was, you know, if we know what you're looking to buy, we can help you. If we know the zips, if we know the, and when I say the type of quality or type of inventory, what I mean specifically is, do you want vacant property that you have to rehab and you want deeply discounted or do you want to buy stabilized cash flowing portfolios? One thing, since I'm a little bit short of time here, I should point out, if you're looking to buy at deep discounts, what we're seeing in the market right now is, is that deeply discounted property is really only available now in REOs. You this, The stabilized inventory that's out there, there's a ton of it and even the bank stuff and some of you who will listen to this to, to our to our podcast today will know this that if you if you've offered on a bank tape or even a freddie mac tape in the last couple months you've noticed that those asking prices have gone from you know 50 to 60 percent 65 percent of asking price depending upon the market to 80 to 90 percent and so if you're looking for for deeply discounted inventory you, i don't know where you're going to find it right now in stabilized, cash-flowing, performing assets. The people that own those types of assets recognize the fact that if they've got a cash cow throwing off, you know, eight to 10, 12 percent, and they've, you know, they're 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 free and clear of any liens or encumbrances on the pro, they got it. There's no reason for them to discount that, and so they're just not doing it. And that goes not just for the private sellers. That goes for the banks. Um, if if it's a, I get people all the time. They send me offers on stuff that's tenant occupied and performing and they're asking for, you know, to buy it at 60 or 70. It's just not happening right now. So if you're looking for deeply discounted inventory, if you're looking for stuff that you can get really good deals on, the best place to look is for REOs. And the best way for us to help you find those REOs is for you to tell us a couple of things, the markets you want to be in, even the zip codes, the zip codes that you don't want to be in, um, the type of product you're looking for, and the price points. If we know those things, um, we can typically source inventory. There's a lot of it out, out there right now. For those that don't know this, there are a number of hedge funds slash real estate investment trusts that are starting to sell off inventory. I'm not going to mention the names of the companies. That wouldn't be fair. But I know one that I personally sold a boatload of houses to over the last three years. Now they're selling their stock. And so that stuff's available out there, but they're not discounting it real, real deeply. It's You can acquire it. It's good inventory. And you can still get deals on it. But don't think you can acquire some of that stuff at, the, at this moment, at least, 
at deeply discounted prices like you could six, eight months ago or a year ago. So, okay, that's 20 minutes on the nose. I want to thank you for being on with us today. We look forward to seeing you next week. If you want to, if you